guys and welcome back to my channel today i am doing yet another video for you and this is going to be an overview a look into my wallet on chain from chanel and we're going to do a little bit of a comparison with the louis vuitton felis or felicy wallet on chain um so we can see what the differences are some dimensions and yada yada let's get right back into it so this is the box that my wallet on chain came in it's your standard one of these newer ones i believe chanel boxes which is a tad bit more rubberized uh chameleon on the top um i purchased this one in chanel store in vienna um was assisted by a very nice essay um and the overall experience with the purchase was good um, i couldn't buy it off the rack i had to order it and uh, i waited for it not that long i think around two three weeks so do not fall into the trap when people are saying that wallet on chains um are not accessible especially in this configuration that i have now which is the classic one in the quilt leather uh, also when i was in london uh, at the end of this year or i mean at the end of 2015 um they were ready uh, readily available in the chanel boutique or was it in selfridges but anyway so don't get trapped on you know a lot of people on ebay are advertising this and saying sold out sold this sold that no that's not true you know it's a uh, these are available okay so do not fall into this trap of thinking that they are not i'm rambling here um so the box inside of the box of course came the bag uh in the dust bag but i'll show you something else what i got inside which if i'll be able to open the box okay here we go uh i got one of these um care cloths um which you know you put on your hand and you you wipe your uh bag with and then a care instruction um a very nice envelope with yet another camellia on the front okay so this is it um came in a room like that here is the authenticity card i'm not going to show you the full um uh the full uh, code for obvious reasons chanel blah 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 yada 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 and here we go all right so to the bag so here is mine um why i have not taken it off the rack was because when i came in they had only one in lambskin and i wanted it in caviar and the second reason was um doo -doo 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 -doo. oh yeah um you know some of them are made in spain and some of them are made in france thank you Jacob. um super Jacob is the guy that you know is a big chanel enthusiast and a library of knowledge on chanel and i've been consulting with him and i'll link his channel below on my particular wallet on chain purchase but saying that i went for the one made in france and i'll explain a tad a bit later uh why i did so here is the the dust bag very soft very nice material on this particular dust bag i like these dust bags more than you know these ones that look like a sack which are made out of just normal material this is like kind of velvety much more luxurious to the feel and i believe better protects the wallet on chain here we go and it is the yeah, chanel wallet on chain uh, from the classic collection timeless classics um this is the quilted one with the matila pattern and uh, it is in caviar as you can see and the hardware is gold toned um yeah what to say about this one it's uh it's a very beautiful stunning piece um here is the pocket on the back see how the stitching uh is aligned with the pocket i really like that a lot and it's one of the things that i was looking when purchasing mine does the stitching align here uh with the rest of the bag and through the pocket which is the case of this particular bag another thing which i have you know checked out was um let me just close it here so i show you guys better the same thing in the front you see um how the bag is done so how the stitching is continuing from the flap down to the bottom of the bag some of the bags are not really aligned guys i'm just giving you a heads up um and you know if you are a stickler for details like i am then most probably you know that would bother you i know there's a lot of people that does not bother uh, and that's fine that's awesome and good for you guys and you know nothing against that 
but you know I'm just you know I it, for for the amount of this cost and you know we're gonna talk about the cost a bit about this um, you know I want it really to be perfect um, so I'll go now back um, to explain you why I went for the made in France versus the made in Spain the theory behind is and I did saw some of the made in Spain bags um, the matilase quilting, the puffs on the individual, individual square, individual, individual, oh my god, individual square um, on the made in Spain bags. Usually, this is more puffy. If you look at this bag, and I'll, I don't know how to show this, you know, maybe like this. It'll have, it, have, it will have to be like this. Um, as you can see, this bag is really streamlined. Should I say slim? right it's not puffed up you know how the um uh if you look at the okay's review that they did on my channel you know that's really puffy so these squares are super puffy um and you know on the made in spain bags a lot of them have i don't know just they're more puffy than the made in uh, made in france bag so i, I have instructed to get a made in france uh, i got it and really it's just it's very slim line and i really like that in this particular design, you know, because I wanted this to be really slim line. I didn't want, let me take this paper out, um, this little felt here. I just really wanted this to be streamlined and not to add extra bulk to this particular piece. That's why I went for the Made in France one. It was not about, you know, it's Chanel, it needs to be made in France. It was not about that. It was just this bag that came out of France are just a bit more streamlined, I believe to the caviar ones that were made in Spain and uh, you know I have saw a couple ones Jacob did a video on this and explained this more in detail um, that's for I when I was buying my I have wanted you know the one to be made in France and this is the case with this one um, inside you know you guys saw this one so many times there's like a ton of videos on this um, here's the chain as you well know uh, this is not removable so we kind of just flows from one side to another around here it is long enough um for even me to wear you know i can wear it i'm one meter 82 centimeters tall and you know size wise there we go um i mean it just drops down just drops down all the way to my waist um uh, so, you know, size-wise, the chain is really long. It might be a problem for somebody who is not that tall. As I said, I'm 1 meter 82. So if you are a lady of, I don't know, 165 or 165 foot, something like that, the chain might be a bit too long to you or you can expect that it's going to kind of drape over your... Um, so if you put it cross shoulder, it's gonna go probably below your hips, but again, not a problem. I think it also looks nice on ladies when they wear it that way. Um, aside from them, it, it, that it's a pretty standard wallet on chain. You have this big pocket that zips here, goes all the way down. Then you have one pocket here in the front. Then you have the zip pocket for your, kind of your coins. And then you have another pocket behind this and the bigger compartment here, which houses the six credit card slots. And I have papers now inside to protect it that way. Um, there is this dredged little hole that people been, you know, kind of dentation that people been mentioning. This is of course created by this zipper that is here. This is a bit of a failure in design in my honest opinion. I do try to protect it with this felt here just to, you know, just to not to have that, but it's unavoidable. It's gonna be there. It, it, it does bother me a bit, but you know, it, it's visible more on the camera than actually it is on the real life. But hey, it is what it is. Other than that, it's absolutely stunning. Um, piece you know it's big enough so you can put an iPhone 6 in here and there's a lot of videos showing what fits in this inside so I'm gonna do that but you can get an iPhone 6 in here uh, with let's say uh, a clay for keys I just got this one here so that fits also very nicely in here and this clay is quite big as you know the four key from Louis Vuitton um, you know you can put some other items you know like a cream there's a little hand cream here from uh, Ositan and you know, I don't know Yeah, you could put this here if you would want to but you know as I said if you saw my video on my how I use my uh, uh, Mini pochette I do advise you if you're carrying cosmetics in expensive bags put them in a little plastic bag before you put them in You know just to be safe because if this leaks in your bag. You're not gonna be happy. All right So this is my wallet on chain. I'm not gonna go in depth on this on all the corners I just you know, I wanted to show it to you guys. I, I, I think it's an absolutely stunning piece um, 
I don't know, it's, it's a really, really beautiful piece. Go check it out. Um, I, I was actually considering to get another one in the boy configuration, but that one's at the moment um, are and in ruthenium hardware, but as I said, this uh, that ones at the moment are only coming in lambskin, and just you know, I, I don't want. I'm a very clumsy person. I just don't want to get it in lambskin. But if they do decide, you know, to make them in uh, to make them in uh, uh, caviar like this, then for sure. Uh, I would be probably getting another one, I don't know. Anyway, and you know, before I finish this video, I want to show you a comparison, an option, should you, you know, wish so, on this particular piece from Louis Vuitton, which is called the Felicie. Well, look at here, it's a wallet with the chain. Well, let me attach the chain here. Um, and you know, it's the price is uh, very different. Um, yes, fine, okay, people would say, yeah, but you know, Chanel is full leather and this is only you know, canvas. Yeah, I get that, and that's all fine, but you know, the price this is still a very nice bag, the Felicity uh, or Felicity, or how you want to call it, but it costs really like it, it's literally this bag. Here it is. Um, this bag costs, uh, you can get three of these for one of those, okay? Because this one is, when I bought this one, this one was over 1,700 something euros and uh, this one was 600. 600, 1,700, 600, you know what I'm saying? It, it is a big difference, yes, of course, Chanel one. It's in a different league, let's be honest, you know, it is in a different league, but use-wise, look at that, guys. Um, linked on the chain, just let me put that the right way. So the wallet on chain, as you can see, sorry for bumping the camera, has a tad longer chain. It drapes like, I would say like t five to 10 centimeters lower. Then Felicidas, here are the chains, comparison on the chains itself. This one, of course, from Chanel has a woven leather pattern between it. This one does not have, although also a very nice chain. This one is a bit thinner also, but this one is removable. And the wallet on chain one is not, meaning if you're not using it as a wallet on chain and you put your chain inside your wallet, it takes a lot of space this chain and you know just it takes a lot of space from what you could be wearing in the wallet if you put it inside and you design desire to only wear it as a clutch which i do sometimes you know like a bigger wallet um this chain takes a lot of real estate inside this bag when on felici you don't get that because you can as you can saw before and i showed you this already in my video review of this bag which you can find on my channel um, yeah, you can take this off, right? So, you see? You can take this off and you can put this inside when you close this. This is not going to be invisible. And you wear this really like a clutch. Um, then uh, a wallet and chain, and you can leave the chain at home. Also, you can reuse the chain on some other Louis Vuitton items, should you wish so. For example, like mini pochette. While this chain, um, you know, it's permanently attached to this bag and there's no taking off this chain. Um, Size-wise comparison, it's already 14 minutes, so let's speed this one up. Um, there's not much to it, huh? Not much to it, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm in a good mood, I'm, you know, I'm, uh, today is my day off, so I'm, you know, I'm really enjoying myself, doing what I like, you know, in my personal life. Anyway, so, um, this one is a bit wider on the top than this one. Um, but the wallet on chain is slightly taller, slightly taller, or almost, I don't know. It's very, I would say the height is the same, guys, honestly. And, you know, here is the width, width difference. So this one is a bit wider, the Felici, but height is the same. Thickness, uh, this one is a bit, no, you know what, they are the same. If you look at from this side, you see this? And let me kind of straighten this up. They are the same in thickness. 
Um, although the way this is constructed inside with a lot of panels and everything, um, I suspect this will have more space. Another thing on Felicity, if you remember, is you know it has um, a design where you can take items out of it. So you know this little zipped out pouch and the card holder should you not wish to have that and just use that as a bag right with one little compartment in the bag then you can put your own um credit card holder in here i'll go again with the keys so this easily will take the keys the credit card holder um whatnot um, phone of course obviously in this compartment in the bag um this is this will take more items for sure um, then wallet on chain because just the way how this is constructed although it wouldn't look like that um, from the outside so what's the conclusion guys um, they are similar uh, you know for the looks and the height and the dimensions but they're very different bags in my honest opinion um, the wallet on chain is just a, a bag uh, it's a statement piece in my honest opinion. This is you know, it's a statement whenever I see a wallet like I mean whenever I see somebody wearing a walk or you know a boy bag or whatever just for me It's it's on a different level um, Then you know some other items especially when it's from the classic Thanos collection, you know the quilted the little CC's it's just for me this these things are you know a level up and also the way how this one is done with the full leather construction, thicker chain, woven leather. I believe, you know, it's on a different level than this. And of course, it does cost three times more. Now, should you not be in a position to go and dish out this amount of money for a wallet on chain? Um, do you buy yourself this and something else? Uh, do you save up and get this? It depends guys. It really depends what you want um, and how you're going to utilize your items. I'm not saying you cannot wear this every day. You can or for a lot of occasions, but it is a little bit upscale, more upscale. Um, this one is much more, um, you know, easygoing. Also, it's much more carefree because it is canvas and, you know, if it was going to rain, it's going to rain. It's not going to do nothing to it. It does have the detachable chain, so it gives you the option of, you know, with using it as a wallet on chain or using it as a clutch. And also you have these internal pieces which you can use in this bag or not use in this bag or you can use them, reuse them in some other bag as a separate accessories which is another great benefit of this bag. And all that for 600 euros versus the 1700 plus on this piece versus this piece. I don't know guys, you'll just have to make up your own mind, but you know, I just wanted to show you these pieces off and you know, let you know what's out there and my opinion, you know, I'm happy to have both of them. I really like both of them. I just, I think they are different pieces and I can utilize both of them in a different way. Um, and you know, as it comes for you, you need to make up your decision on what you believe is better for you or do you want to spend the money on this or rather go with this, save some money or get something else. All right guys, this has been another yet long marathon video for you but i hope you have enjoyed it thank you so much for watching my videos if you like the videos please hit the like button and subscribe because i've been doing more videos thank you a lot to all of my old subscribers thank you a lot to all my new subscribers i love you guys and i'll see you on my next video bye for now